But if you have a suspected case of inhalational burn, don't go for endotracheal intubation. There was a previous age-old strategy where prophylactic intubation was done. Now this is severely condemned. Now students, let us again discuss one more treasure related to burn. Try to understand that whenever we have a patient of inhalational burn. Now one very important thing is that in inhalational burn, there was a controversy that if you have a confirmed case of inhalational burn, go for endotracheal intubation. But if you have a suspected case of inhalational burn, don't go for endotracheal intubation. There was a previous age-old strategy where prophylactic intubation was done. Now this is severely condemned. People used to say that if you don't go for prophylactic intubation, patient might develop laryngeal edema. But now we have flexible fiber optic bronchoscopy, do bronchoscopy and we have a criteria which is bronchoscopy based assessment criteria for inhalational burn. And what is that known as? That is known as Gamiele's criteria. Gamiele's criteria. Now when we talk about the criteria, what is this criteria describing us? It is also describing us what are the indications for intubation. A failure is an indication, a desaturating patient is. So try to understand. If we talk about PSCO2, if it is less than 60 mmHg students, patient is going into hypoxic attack. You have to. PSCO2 more than 50, you have to understand that it is building up. So soon you will have the cerebral edema developing and now intracranial hypertension also will supervene. Then PaO2 upon FiO2 ratio, which is a benchmark for the assessment. If it is less than 200, yes, you will have to go for. And then if it is a case of ventilatory failure, if it is an upper airway edema, as I've already told you that, yes, this is apart from this on bronchoscopy demonstration of carbon or carbonaceous soot particles or a lot of effusion edema. Yes, this is also an indication. So these are the indications for endotracheal intubation in case of burns. So students, I hope you enjoyed this small little treasure. Thank you. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.